Welcome back. Uh, I don't remember whether we left off at 3Q or some other rank, but we're going to continue making the climb. We'll see how things go. Alright, as usual, we'll play a 10 minute game. Whatever the default voice setting is. As usual, I will remember to turn on my audio at the last second here. And that way I can actually hear... Oh, you guys can hear an echo. Yeah, it's fixed. Good luck. Oh, I have Santa. Beautiful. Uh, I think everything's set up correctly. That should be fine. Hopefully there's minimal echo. Um, actually, there's probably quite the echo. Let me try things a bit differently. That should fix the echo. There we go. That way you can hear exactly what I'm hearing. Sorry if previous episodes had any echo. I'm trying my best to control for that. Um, but I'm not perfect. My opponent is copying every one of my moves. This could make for an interesting game. We are both ranked 2Q. Um, so we'll see where this leads. Are you copying this one? Because I could do a bishop drop on you right here. Bishop drops are coming. All right, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Bishop drops not actually happening because I can't read. But still, um, there was definitely potential for a bishop drop there. Uh, let's drop it here instead. We're hitting the silver, threatening to push five five, threatening other things, no doubt. But, um. It's okay. I need to activate my silver and gold on the left. I'm not sure where they belong. Um, but we will have dealt with this bishop drop threat. And we will play Fulmino Castle. And immediately commence an attack on the king. Possibly playing Fulmino is not even worth it here. Yeah, the silver back here is idle. That needs to be fixed. Um, my bishop and rook cover a lot of territory. I'm considering breaking my opponent's castle. Um, yeah. Here we go. One good attack deserves another. I'm considering sacrificing material. I don't think it's necessary to sack anything yet. Let's break open their castle. Um, all right. This allows me to break in with the rook. Oh wow, this is more complicated than I thought. So the pawn drop, pawn drop, rook takes, pawn drop, and everything's hanging by both players. Uh, that was not intentional. That's pretty cool though. Um... Yeah, that got more complicated than I imagined. So their silver is hanging. My bishop is hanging. My rook is hanging. Their king is exposed. Rook takes is probably a... Feels like a mistake. Because now I get a token. Okay, yes, I'm having to sacrifice my bishop, but that seems immaterial given how much danger their king is in.
But okay, this tells me in the future this bishop drop is risky. I should be much more reserved about such attacking moves in the future. Um, that's just a rook. Who needs it? Just a rook. We weren't using it anyway. That escalated quickly. But yeah, now I attack the knight and the pawn, and I can work my bishop back to safety. Um, I did get a silver and a lance for my rook. They are threatening to drop various pieces. Um, so to that, I need to drop my lance somewhere. Probably. Um, they're trying to trap my bishop and pretending to be sneaky about it. Um, let's cover the square that their bishop can drop on. I've considered a lance drop back here, but that seems too heavy. My bishop is effective back here. And they will continue to leak pawns. One by one over here. Oh, I see. Not only were they trying to trap my bishop, but they were also just trying to activate their golden knight. I think that's reasonable. Um, yes, yeah, so my attack was a bit premature. To say the least. On the other hand, I seem to be doing okay. Weathering the storm. My knight would take three turns to promote. A uh, lance drop and promoting the pawn seems faster, but could be less effective here. A, a lance drop toward their king seems more effective. But this is the reason I'd really want to do a lance drop in the center file, is to deal with this rook. Um, no, I want to trap the rook. I'm being selfish. Um... Actually, this is a good file for a lance, now that the file's open. Their rook is trapped. If I get to take the rook, then I can drop the rook, forking their golden knight. I want the square behind their rook. Um, I'm not even sure I want the rook that badly. But if the rook steps off the file, it loses value. Alright, so yeah, they do the predictable thing and attack my bishop. Um, I had intended and still intend to meet that with a silver drop. So my bishop's no longer attacked. The rook is still under fire. I have one more piece aiming in general toward their king. I've got nothing in hand. I don't need anything in hand to win this game. Hopefully. Not nothing. Okay, that's surprising for so many reasons. Um, it's a good move. That's resourceful. That is so resourceful. Um. I'm going to take the rook. I can BS about that quite a bit, but a rook is a rook. So my rook attacking from the front might not be so effective. From the side, okay, they haven't technically completed Fulmino Castle just yet. 
they're working on completing it. They've completed it now, but now I get to pick up a knight. Uh, yeah, let's take that and promote. Now we can use the knight to attack. Um, I'm not sure if I have more effective ways in. If I had a silver, they would be in serious trouble here. I don't have a silver. Um, if I get a bishop, that would help quite a bit because I could do lance takes, gold takes, and then a pawn drop on there. Well, they move the gold toward their king. That's not so effective. All right, so exchanging bishops does not win the game for me. Um, yeah, breaking into this might be challenging. But I got a knight. So what do we do now? I mean, my own castle's not perfect. That's certainly true. Mm -hmm. I was slightly afraid of that, although a bishop in hand is more valuable than a bishop on the board. Um... Interesting. I have thoughts. Man, this is so sharp if I go if... Well... Yeah, no, I can't play with fire as much as I'd want to here. Um, I don't know, maybe I have to. Fire can be fun to play with. Go for me. This is complicated. I don't need a promoted bishop to deal with you. This bishop is almost as good as a promoted bishop. I thought that might occur. So they promote. So they do. I still attack. I need to be careful not to drop my rook to some king rook fork. Otherwise, things are fine. Who's a big afraid of a big bad dragon? I'm not afraid.
I would have liked to be able to approach these pawns more directly, but they've actually done a good job fortifying their castle against obvious attacking moves. So I have to approach from farther away. Um, interesting. All right, your rook defends your silver. Please show me what your point is. Do you intend to sacrifice your dragon? Or do you intend to sacrifice your silver general? Or have I completely missed something? My guess the next move is a bishop drop, hitting the rook, and hoping I forget about something. I really don't know what they can do here. Uh, they could bring the dragon into my camp, where the dragon can't actually do anything, and they lose the silver for nothing. I'm sorry, they lose the silver for a tempo. Yeah, I think they just got excited. I got excited too. Uh, I just got lucky. Whenever I'm playing accurately, it's because I'm just lucky. Well, they're thinking. They're still thinking. It's a hard position. Thanks for the game. Good luck. Wow. Okay, we got a fight on our hands already. Woo! Let's do it. <laughs> uh, wow, I should study this sometime. That's one hell of an understatement. This is one of those openings you don't want to play without knowing it. I'm playing it. I don't think I know it that well. Um... All right, is this playable, maybe? Gosh. Okay, what is that? Uh, is this a meme opening? Asking for a friend. Um... It's knuckle puck time. Let's do whatever the hell I just invented here. This opening is not a real thing. Okay. Alright. <laughs> like, hey, wait a second. Something ain't right here. Something ain't right. <laughs> Alright, let's get our king out of here before I manage to fuck this up somehow. Um, blink, blink, blink. He continues blinking. Um, okay. 
I'll take your pawn, sure. Blink. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll take this too, sure. All right. Sure, I can take one of these. Was this what we set out to do? Um, they, I mean, they do have a bishop drop on my side. I do need to exercise some caution. Um... Jeez, I am so confused, but I can figure this out. As scary as a bishop drop in hand usually is, in this position, it does not behoove me to keep the bishop in hand. Bishop drop is not scary at all in this position, because none of their generals I've activated. So let's put the bishop on the board where it can actually make a difference. Mm -hmm. Not nothing. Mm, let's give our king an escape square. All right, that's a fork. Um, I guess we'll sacrifice this here. Is this where you wanted your bishop to go? Is this where you wanted your silver to go? So many drops. I guess, yeah, they are finding a way to promote their bishop. Uh, more power to them. Um, but every move has a good uh, an upside and a downside. Things are never so simple. Um... Okay, we'll put the rook on the open file. Honestly, I expected bishop takes pawn. This is interesting.
Man, I don't even get credit for Mino Castle. No Mino Gakuin avatar. That's sad. I'm reminded... Oh. Wow, really? Do I even want this exchange? I think I do. <sighs> Decisions. Hmm. I don't think I want it anymore. Oh no, it's promoted bishop. I need to activate my other bishop. To do that, stuff's got to move. Oh, okay. Yeah, upon, that's what I was about to assume here. Is that, um, since technically we're not in an opening phase anymore, I don't get credit for my castle. It feels like that game was missing an opening phase. And so I am robbed of my avatar that, oh, I so deserved. No, it's, it's okay. Um, You know what? You want my bishop this much? It's yours. Are you ever going to finish your castle, dude? With all due respect, are you going to finish it? Or are you just not castling today? <laughs> like... There's aggression, and then there's what we have witnessed here. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Something. Yeah, I'm aware, I'm aware. It's just decision making's a bit difficult when your none of your opponent's moves are making sense to you. This pawn move doesn't make much sense to me. But it's a really complicated position. Kagawaston. <laughs> That's exciting.
My opponent does not have a knight in hand. Man, how much do I need the lance? I don't know. I need my king. We're going to protect my king. Why do I have to be the one who makes the decisions? You go ahead and make some decisions for me. Let me know what you come up with. <laughs> um. 30秒. Mm, my gold is hanging. I am so confused. Good game. Well played. Jeez, what the hell. It's not such a bad castle. Yeah, I've never seen so many knights surround one king. Um... Yeah, it's actually a good castle. Stronger than I gave it credit for. My mistake. Good luck. I forgot to develop my bishop here. Otherwise, I was about to like do some extremely adventurous sacrifice, which is just not called for. Um. We're going to learn something new today. We are going to learn something new today. All right, yeah, my brain is not functioning. All right, well, let's... That's embarrassing.
Uh, my brain is not at all functioning. Alright, well thank you for the game. Well played. I shouldn't resign there. I am just so upset. That's my mistake. So, um, yeah. Let's do some analysis. Um, yeah, what is this? What is this? They played opposing rook. I wanted to castle to the left because, like, central rook against opposing rook is not a good matchup. But also, I must have missed something along... Oh, I'm sorry, this doesn't cast well. Let me show it this way. Yeah, central rook against opposing rook is not a good matchup. So, um... Yeah, I'm not going to waste my opponent's time with my nonsense. I imagined, like, my rook was not defending my silver multiple times like i saw the, oh this pawn is coming and if i try to do anything like gold up and then they'll do pawn up i'll do pawn takes rook takes pawn drop and the rook takes silver because the silver is not protected but it is protected and like multiple times i told myself the silver is hanging and it's not hanging so i just completely hallucinated on so many different fronts this game and by the end of it I had tilted so hard that, you know, there's just, you're supposed to, uh, I think at that point, resignation really is the best move. It just recognizes I'm not in the right frame of mind to play this game at the moment, so that's okay. Yeah, gold up makes sense. Yeah, I was trying to innovate a bit, um, and yeah, oh well. Um, I do have to take chances once in a while, try something a little bit unexplored, but uh, it's easier or less costly to do that analysis between games instead of during a game. On the other hand, uh, we get this unique moment together, so... We've noticed that um, as I've ranked all the way uh, from 30Q up to 2Q, we've had... A few moments that have been embarrassing where I've really blown out in the opening. Um, we've had other embarrassing moments along the way. But, like, opening mistakes are avoidable. <laughs> um, at least very, very early opening mistakes are avoidable. So, I should see what I can do to learn this game a little bit better. Hope you enjoyed.